So, I'm back for another day at the office of quadcoptering. Uh, this is my new test rig. Let me go back a bit. It's, uh, it's a coat stand that was sitting somewhere. And uh, it works reasonably well, I think. So if I haven't tested much of it. It kind of just sits up in the top there, you can see it. It allows a bit of pivot. I have used some Cat5, maybe Cat6, to prevent it from tilting too far. Uh, it's not great. I don't know if you can see that cable there is a bit tight. So it's going to dress, the test rig is going to drastically change the, the way it flies because it's not going to, uh, it's going to have massive forces acting on it that it wouldn't have in a normal flight. Uh, but I figure I can just pretend that they wind and be like, oh, sure is windy on my left side today. Uh, and uh, I don't know, it, it'll, it should still be able to test some kind of stabilization algorithm stuff anyway. Uh, so I just tested that when that motor there is on 50% power, it doesn't fly off completely. And it doesn't, it gets, it's, so the way I've secured, um, it's with electric, oh, th these ones are done uh, not with Cat5, but with um, just standard electrical wire. Uh, it's threaded through in the base there. Um, and I've just electrical taped it. I figured that will stop it. Uh, so when I tested this one, it it pulled way further than I thought um, than I thought it would, but it still held it. Uh, so I'm next going to test either this one or that one. I I haven't worked out. I haven't been bothered to work out which number is which, but it's one of the two. And uh, I uploaded the code. Oh no, I didn't. I'll upload the code to test one of them. I'm going to replug in the Arduino because it's being a bitch. There we are. <laughs> Let's see it from the top. So I mean I haven't tidied up any of the wiring. You see the battery is just electrical tape stored as well. And my camera is still a piece of shit who can't focus. Um, but should hopefully be enough for the for some level of testing that I can do at least, hopefully. <sighs> okay. Look at that. We've never seen the Arduino thing. It goes through and then it verifies it all. It seems excessive. I actually I tried turning off the verify but it didn't work. Um so I think there's like a 10 second delay at the start before it does stuff, what I'll probably do, since resetting the Arduino last time went so bad, I'll put the camera down, uh, reset the Arduino, plug the power in, pick the camera back up, grab onto it, and try to avoid it dying. I can probably hold on, if I hold on there, no matter which way it's going, and I'll just check that it's not going to tear off all the electrical tape that's holding it down. Um, yeah, put the camera down now. I have to get up on a chair to do everything with this, which is not something that I want to do. Ah, eh, the order of this is annoying. I'll unplug the Arduino, plug the battery into the motors. I shouldn't be. And now, uh, plug, uh, plug the Arduino one. It's, it's that one right there, and it's gonna. I think it's on fifty percent power or something, but it's still impressive. Um, it's got a delay to prevent death. So, despite dropping the camera, that actually didn't go too bad. That's basically what I was testing for it to not do. Uh, 
So I'll probably need to tighten these up a little bit so that the angle that it can pivot on is, uh, I'd probably lock it to around that much. I mean, like, if it's at a point like that, it's probably not doing very well at stabilizing. <sighs> so I will lock those down and see what else I can do. But anyway, that's what happens when you give someone like me the chance to build a test rig. <laughs>